Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing more Witch Hunt. And originally I was going to get back across the river before uh, starting this video, but then I saw that there's this sign here. So I'm going to fast travel directly to that cabin I found. And after that, I'm not sure. I might just head out into the woods because... I followed the path and it kind of looped around. So I'm not entirely sure. All right. All right, the good news is the goat is gone. The bad news is the heartbeat has begun. And ended. So the The creature is over here somewhere. Maybe. It is speeding up a bit. Oh, I do not like being off of the path. In fact, I'm going to head back out into this clearing here. Alright, I don't see anything specifically. sound and I thought it might be the giant bat thing again Jesus Christ all the friggin trees full of birds Tell you, uh, if I ever go geocaching with my oh whispers, that sounds really close too. Oh, there it is! I can see it. Way down there. That's one of those shadows that runs at you and jump scares you. It also takes some of your health, so I can't just go over there and trigger him and you know not have to deal with him later uh, but yeah if I ever go geocaching again with my brother's family I am definitely not going to fall behind the group because woods can be scary as hell I want to get to some high ground. Uh, I do want to be careful though. I heard a zombie. Uh, as I was saying, I do want to be careful because I know that there is fall damage. Though I don't know... Where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't know if that fall damage can be triggered by sliding down like a cliffside. Um. Shit. It's not... I don't think that's the same one I just... No, that's him. Okay. For a second I thought 
the, the exact same one that I had just shot and killed had gotten up to chase me again. Alright, I don't see anything... Uh, I don't see anything down there. Christ, I have no idea where I am on this map. Maybe the east side? Oh, that's ominous. Alright, there's more healing herbs if I need them. Against my better judgment, I'm going to go investigate this cross. It sounds like there is a zombie somewhat nearby it. Alright, there is a bunch of healing up here. to 77 coins. I'm going to leave that zombie where it is. There's another zombie somewhere. This game kind of reminds me of Monstrum in a sense. Though, uh, I think none of the map itself, where is it? I think none of the map itself, there it is. I think none of the map itself is actually randomly generated. It's just where creatures are. That's close looking. I don't know if it's just a certain radius from them that triggers them to run at you. Or if they're kind of constantly moving toward you. This is a big goddamn map. I'm actually kind of pleasantly... Surprise! Ooh, I'm sliding a bit. I could hear something. Uh, I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised that uh, you're allowed to travel as much as you are. I was going to go the safe way, but now I'm just going to... Alright, I didn't take any damage. So either... Either that wasn't far enough of a fall, or... Um, maybe sliding doesn't hurt you. Uh, now I'm heading over to check the teepees that I saw. Alright, just wanted to double check and yes, the rifle is loaded. Alright, I see him. I 
just heard a thing. Alright, can't go in. Um, well, looking at the trailer for this game also seemed to show off some sort of a giant tree monster. I don't have any lockpicks, damn it. Um, none of that looks valuable. What is this? Oh, it's just clipped off tree. From the distance it looked like some sort of half deflated horse corpse or something. That's a whole lot of blood. But yeah, the trailer showed off some sort of giant tree monster for a literal split second at the end of the trailer. Okay, I got it. And I'm going to, yes, fully reload before I go to investigate. Alright, power of nature, healing plants give me 40 health instead of 30. Alright. I can't even pick up that mana because I might be full on mana. But yeah, in the uh, the second of the videos down the, in the description, Jesus H, uh, they were able to shoot and kill that bat, and it it did have a book in its mouth, though it was a different book. Oh, well, I can see one little shadow man there. And another shadow man there, but there is also a zombie dog. Oh. Alright, that was not close enough to trigger the shadow man. to be very careful now because those shadow men what shit okay uh there is some sort of witch or something that if you look directly at it will cause damage. Alright. I don't know. Ow! Okay. Uh, let's go this way then. Maybe I can find, fight my way back onto the hill and pick up some of that healing stuff that was all over the damn place. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Oh, 
shit, 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 shit. You need to reload fast, sir. There are so many friggin' zombies up here. Uh, hello, sir. Excuse me. Um, was not expecting to turn around and see the goat. Is he following me? No. Oh, I don't like that. He is following me. Why are you following me, goat? Ah, oh, there's another spook man. Alright, shadow. How long has that goat been following me, is what I want to know. Because if it's been ever since I made it to that cabin, then Jesus Christ. Still, that would be pretty... Right, that's why I decided to slide down last time. See, I think that is one of the more atmospheric, scary things in a game, is when there's something that's just kind of following you, and you don't really notice. So, you'll be traveling... And then turn around and, oh look, there's a goat that you haven't seen for, like, 30 minutes. And he is... That's a cave. That's a big cave. Why am I going in the cave? Oh, why am I in the cave? Lockpicks. Nothing. Come on. Okay. What a weird book. Oh no. I did not realize that was a Necronomicon. Uh, second chance. If your health reaches zero and you have 35 mana, you'll be teleported to a safe stone and receive 10 hit points. God damn it. Anything else in here? No, that's... Wait, I saw a pickup. Where is it? Uh, ooh, another new skill. Weapon reload. God damn it! That is something they really need to work on in this game. is uh, that clicking to cycle through a skill thing 
uses up a shot. I wonder if right clicking would allow me to. Oh, hey. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to reload, and then I think I'm going to take my 77 coins back to town. And, uh... I'm gonna bind more bullets at the very least. Uh, okay, so spiders either take more than one rifle shot or I missed. Everything in this seems to do a whole lot of damage in a very small amount of time though. Uh, all right, back in town. I can breathe a little bit easier. Emphasis on a little bit. Now, does this guy give you me money? No? Does he have anything I can... Locked. I can just go around. Nothing on his table I can take. Alright, I have... What do I have for lockpicks? I got two. Um... What do I have one of? Oh, a silver crucifix. A handmade map of the Belleville Woods. I think I'm going to... Oh, wait. I can get my health back. I forgot about that. There we go. Not sure I like the bone rattling sound that came with it. Oh, this is a real pleasant town, I tell you. Oh, I can see shinies. And last chance. Ah, <sighs> nice. The question is, does doing this piss off some sort of a spirit. Because I am technically robbing a grave. But it puts me up to 114 gold. Ooh, and I still have that lockpick. So I'm going to probably break it up here in the barn loft. Come on. There we go. Survey says... Damn it. Still, 114 is not bad. Can I get into the... No. Um, yeah, 114 gold is not bad. Especially when I need to spend some of that on money. That's, that's a dead thing there. Uh, oh, right, right. I can get another crucifix for every ten things I kill. So now I've got two of those. Um, three apiece or fifteen for five is the exact same. Oh, but a compass. A compass. If I got a compass, then I could buy one more bullet. That's not good. Alright, I am back up to 20 bullets, which is going to be useful if I get in any, any more skills and end up shooting by accident. Uh, 69 coins. <laughs> uh, light boots for stamina. I kind of want this... You know what? Why not? So, 
now when the undead hurt me, uh, did it say a chance? Where is it? Uh, there's a 30% chance that the monster shout will cause them to be scared away. Uh, Winterfield musket. Uh, shots of this musket are quite loud, which gives away the position of the shooter. Shorter reload time on the pistol. Maybe I should be sticking to the pistol more often. Uh, either way, though, I'm going to save my game here. And I think I'm going to stop for now. I'm not going to be playing through this game from start to finish. Because it's it seems to be very difficult and... I'm not sure if I'd be able to make it to the end, and uh, I don't want to have another uh, time like with Duskers, how I ended up playing for 14 videos before deciding maybe I should move on to something else. So I think I'm actually going to also stop playing Witch Hunt for now, uh, but I will definitely be getting back to it because this game is really neat, and I love open world games, and I have been meaning to play more horror stuff for the channel because I don't know people watching other people get scared seems to be fairly popular so anyway as always thank you for watching and I will see you next time